evening, everyone. Welcome to a very special Next Revolution. I'm Steve Hilton, and this is the home of positive populism. As you know, we often talk on this show about political revolutions, but tonight we'll meet someone who's at the forefront of a revolution that's much more personal, a revolution in the way people think and the way they behave. As you can see, we have a great audience right here in the studio. Why? Well, it's in honor of our guest for the hour, Dr. Jordan Peterson. Now, if you're one of the few people who still hasn't heard of Dr. Peterson, his meteoric rise to fame has brought him to the forefront of the world of psychology, with his message influencing millions of people around the world. In fact, Dr. Peterson has been described as the most influential public intellectual in the Western world right now. His book, 12 Rules for Life, An Antidote to Chaos, has become the number one bestseller on Amazon. For the next hour, Dr. Peterson will share his insights and answer questions from the audience. So let's get right to it. Dr. Peterson, thank you so much for, for joining us all here. We're really excited to see you. This may be quite an annoying question since you've written a book um, that talks about 12 rules for life. But just for those um, in our audience who may not have heard your lectures or watched you on YouTube or read the book, is there a way you can capture the essence of your argument? Is there perhaps one rule above all others or some, some core argument that you could use to explain well, There's probably, there's what's probably going on. two, I would say. Okay. One of the rules is um, do what is meaningful, not mm -hmm. what is expedient. And that's sort of twinned with tell the truth or at least don't lie. Right. And it, I'd like to concentrate mostly on the rule that, that describes the necessity of meaning. And I've spent a lot of time talking to my public audiences about this, as well as outlining it in the book. The, the, the theme of the book is, in some sense, somewhat pessimistic, because it outlines the reality that we're all ensconced in, let's say, and describes it as one that certainly has an element of tragedy. You know, life is difficult for people, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of suffering in life, and it's often contaminated by malevolence, because we can take a bad situation for us and our families and our communities and certainly do everything we can to make it worse. And so there's a, there's a dark element to life and in order to be able to sustain yourself through that properly, you have to find something that's deeply meaningful. And you have an instinct for meaning. I mean, I think you can make a strong case for that neurologically. And the instinct for meaning helps you find a pathway through life that enables you to, to find like in, engagement, a rich engagement, that can help you thrive in the face of the difficulty of life. And so, and interestingly enough, and, and this is uh, something that's really struck a chord with, with my online